The OPAS workspace is broken into these major areas. Along the top we have action buttons and menu items. To the right is the favorites menu. This large area in the center top is the details or information pane. On the left we have a menu that reveals different screens or views within any program area. And at the bottom center we have the list pane which is used to display search results. These buttons are used to perform actions within OPAS. They're covered in great detail in other videos. For this introduction, the key ones to be aware of are the Report button. This is used to run virtually every report from OPAS. The Function button. Functions are little data routines, the, very similar to macros. And the Search buttons. These are used to invoke very simple searches, advanced searches, and to recall saved searches. The Favorites menu here on the right operates just like favorites or bookmarks in your web browser. These are the OPAS program areas that you use the most, placed in any order you wish, and organized into folders. As the name suggests, the Details or Information pane displays the OPAS information you've chosen to see. This is the primary area you will work with. It's where content is entered and search criteria are selected. This menu on the left represents individual screens or views within each program area. Remember the program area is designated by the tab. Most program areas in OPAS contain so much information that it won't fit into this top area all in one. So we break it out into different screens, each with its own theme. Clicking any of these changes the information in the main pane to be that of the menu item you selected. At the bottom here is the list pane. Whenever you perform a search in OPAS, the software displays the results of that search in this list pane, even if the result is just one item. When you select any item in the list pane, OPAS loads it into the main or information pane above. Also note that when an item is selected, the tab changes to reveal that item. 